pressure is known to you people replace that value you are going to get the unknown pressure p1 or unknown pressure p2 whatever whichever may be the unknown one you can easily identify and you can easily determine that uh, unknown pressure now, one of the pressure is uh, known uh, to you people so likewise you can measure the variation in the pressure now the other point is the elastic element what is elastic element as i have uh, in the first part only that is subjected it will uh, elongate or compress based upon the applied force or a pressure so it is going to be subjected to get deformed uh, when pressure is applied on it and what we people are measuring in that uh, one depending upon the applied pressure is nothing but the deformation that has been provided and in indication of the pressure so this deformation uh, can be measured uh, using some of the equipment that is mechanical or uh, by utilizing the electrical mean so in this particular lecture we people are thoroughly going to see uh, the elastic element uh, overview of the elastic element and some of the uh, elastic components for the pressure measurement so what are that elastic components that are used for the measurement of uh, pressure are nothing but bellows bolden tubes uh, uh, diaphragms these are the components they are commonly used uh, under the uh, dynamic uh, uh, pressure measurement devices also under the category of elastic elements for measurement of uh, pressure so here uh, force summing device as i have specified dynamic uh, pressure measuring device are nothing but the force summing devices so these are uh, also called as a force summing devices that elastic element as it converts the applied pressure into displacement utilizing some primary transducer uh, while uh, <coughs> generated a displacement how displacements are generated that i will justify and clear in the upcoming slide for the mid here you cannot use uh, or uh, it is uh, though it is possible to use the primary transducer but in some of the cases electrical mean if i want to get the electrical mean in that uh, case i have to use the secondary transducer so borden gauge or borden tube also we people are saying borden tube or the gauge is uh, used a coil tube <coughs> coil tube and it expands due to the applied pressure due to the applied pressure if your pressure is increasing it will increase its uh, diameter when i am considering the circular mean at that time the, it will try to increase its diameter along uh, its bond so in 1849 actually borden tube pressure gauge was presented in a france by eugen borden for the measurement of the pressure so this is the elastic type of a transducer uh, borden tube which is fixed and open at one of the end to the receive the pressure that converts or that measure the pressure at the other end or free end which we people can say that free end may be open or may be closed depending upon what type of borden tube we people are use so this is the general structure of the borden tube this is the front side and this is the back side this is the end case here we people are applying the pressure this pressure whatever the pressure we have applied it is deflected on the scale it is deflected on the scale so what is going to happen in this one after applying a pressure this pointer will move in this direction this pointer will move in this direction depending upon positive negative or uh, depending upon the pressure whatever we have applied but how that mechanism work that can be explained over here so here i am applying a pressure this pressure will pass through this particular tube i will represent it with another color here actually when i am applying a pressure it will try to move through this tube this is the particular tube 
and it will try to move in the forward direction forward direction so this is nothing but your pinion uh, this will try to uh, move uh, this one in the backward uh, movement backward movement depending upon the applied pressure so what is going to happen this pointer is connected in front of this one so this pointer will deflect according to the applied pressure here also similar one original constructional detail has been represented over here so here i have applied a pressure and then it is moving through this one so here is my mechanism which has been connected to this one so this will try to move in the upward direction upward direction uh, due to the applied pressure and uh, this will try uh, try to this gear pinion uh, is present and your this pointer is uh, connected in front of this one so this will try to move backward when it is moving in the backward uh, the pointer will move depending upon the pressure if pressure is high pointer will deflect in the higher range if pressure is less pointer will move in the uh, less manner okay so i will uh, show this one practically also to you people for your better understanding okay here this is the structure now here whatever i have explained uh, this is the open end from where i want to give the pressure it will pass through borden tube at the primary chest it, it was over here so uh, this is my linked pinion slip uh, then geared structure so after applying pressure it has been came out this will try to move backward side uh, these are the gears so gears will try to move and this pointer will uh, moving either forward direction or either reverse direction as we are going to increase the pressure or decrease the pressure second one <coughs> so there are the c type borden tube helical type borden tube spiral type borden tube twisted type borden tube and these are the uh, structure of the borden tube so this one is the uh, moving tip this one is the moving tip where you people can connect so helical borden tube applying a pressure there will be variation among this helical structure this is the uh, c tube it will move in the upward and uh, downward direction this is the spiral one so here we people may apply pressure so this pointer because it is connected to your spiral one and uh, you can uh, get the movement depending this is going to expand after applying a uh, pressure this is going to expand after applying a pressure this is going to uh, expand after applying a pressure okay so that changes will be highlighted by your pointer in a borden tube so uh, this is nothing but these are some of the content that uh, uh, we people have uh, used for the a measurement so original structures are uh, provided for your uh, better understanding uh, uh, for the uh, borden tube okay so here we people will uh, stop over here for this particular lecture and in the upcoming lectures we people will move for the further elastic type of transducer that can be used for the measurement of the pressure and one by one uh, in the upcoming lectures we will uh, study the entire content of the pressure measurement so uh, just to have an over uh, overview or recall of this particular lecture we have seen the definition of the pressure uh, measurement general overview classification of the previous lecture was represented uh, to you people uh, uh, <coughs> the objective after completion of this lecture what you what knowledge you people are going to gain that was highlighted uh, for uh, you people then Uh, the static classification uh, either static or dynamic force coming uh, has been represented in that one we have covered a static type of pressure measuring device that is manometer and its sub type uh, as due to manometer uh, wheel type manometer and your inclination type of man manometer and its expression also has been uh, elaborated in this uh, lecture and started with the dynamic type of pressure measuring device and one of the device which we have seen is the borden tube and its different types has been overview in this lecture and its construction has been studied 